Serve it in a day. Servlet description and benefits. Servlet process flow. Servlet life cycle. Structure of a servlet. Build sample servlet with Eclipse and Tomcat. Links for further reading. Servlet description. It is program run on a web server. Acting as a middle layer between a request coming from a web browser or other HTTP client and databases, or applications on the HTTP server. Its job is to 1. Read any data sent by the user. 2. Look up any other information about the request that is embedded in the HTTP request. 3. Generate the results. 4. Format the results inside a document. 5. Set the appropriate HTTP response parameters. 6. Send the document back to the client. In short, a servlet is a piece of Java code that runs on the server on behalf of a request. This is similar to CGI, Common Gateway Interface, is the original mechanism to allow web servers to run application code on behalf of HTTP request. Servlet Benefits 1. Servlets are portable. You can develop the servlet on one platform and deploy it on a different platform. 2. Servlets are simple to write. You have access to the entire family of Java APIs. In addition, you can use the cookie handling and session tracking classes. 3. Servlets are more efficient than CGI scripts. CGI scripts are typically written in Perl. And whenever a request is made to the CGI script, a Perl interpreter needs to be spawned for each request. This is very expensive in terms of speed and memory resources. Servlets on the other hand are loaded once into memory. And each request is handled by a separate thread. Because a servlet stays in memory, it can maintain its state and hold on to resources, like database connections, that may take seconds to establish. 4. Servlets are safer than CGI scripts. CGI scripts written in C++ that mistakenly make invalid pointer references, or divide by zero errors, could cause the web server to crash. Servlets that make the same errors would cause an exception to be thrown. The servlet engine would catch the exception and handle it gracefully. Servlet Process Flow HTTP is a simple stateless protocol. When a client makes a request, an HTTP GET or POST request is sent to the server. The server processes the request and returns the results. At this point the transaction is complete. Client makes a request naming a servlet as part of the URL. Web server forwards request to servlet engine. which locates an instance of a servlet class. Servlet engine calls servlet service method. The servlet builds a response dynamically and passes it to the web server. External resources may also be used. The web server sends the response back to the client. Servlet life cycle 1. Creation Servlets are loaded and instantiated when the container is started, or when the container determines the servlet are needed to service requests. 2. Initialization Initialization is required before a servlet can handle requests from clients. The init method performs one-time activities such as loading of servlet parameters and initializes costly resources. There are two init methods. One takes no input parameters. 
and one takes a servlet config reference as a parameter. The init methods allow the servlet to access name value pairs for the initialization parameters that are specific to that servlet. The servlet config object gives access to the servlet context object that describes information about the servlet environment. 3. Request Handling The servlet accepts client requests and send responses back via the web server. Service to get to post methods are called in response to clients. Each HTTP request is on a different thread. The default service method calls the doGet method. Whenever an HTTP GET request is sent by the web client, usually as a result of a URL on the doPost method. Whenever an HTTP POST request is sent by the web browser client, usually as a result of an action in HTML form. 4. End of service. The web container removes the servlet from service. When the container needs to conserve memory resources, or when it itself is being shut down, the container destroys and garbage collects the servlet and calls the destroyed method. The destroyed method should ensure that all servlet threads have completed and should undo any initialization work that is not undone automatically by the destruction of the servlet. The life cycle of a servlet is expressed in the Java servlet API in the init. Service to get or do post and destroy methods of the servlet interface. This figure is a visual diagram of an individual servlet life cycle. Structure of a servlet. The servlet APL is a set of Java classes which define a standard interface between a web client and a web server. The servlet APL includes two packages javax.servlet, javax.servlet.http, servlet interface and servlet package, HTTP servlet. HTTP servlet request and HTTP servlet response and HTTP package. Servlet interface have servlet lifecycle methods. HTTP servlet extends generic servlet class and generic servlet implements servlet interface. HTTP servlet class is the base class for most servlets you will write. It provides an overloaded service method. For example, do get and do post. Do get and do post methods take HTTP servlet request and HTTP servlet response references as a parameters. HTTP servlet request handle HTTP request. And HTTP servlet response handle HTTP response. The overloaded service method S task is to look at the incoming HTTP request stream, determine the request method, and delegate to the corresponding specialized server handler for example do get. Subclasses of HTTP servlet typically override do get to post or both. To create a servlet which responds to HTTP requests you must 1. Create a class which extends javax.servlet.http.http servlet. 2. Override the do get or do post methods. 2. Process HTTP get or post requests or both. 3. Process HTTP servlet request input values. Optional for invoke the business process. Optional.